Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and I'm out today helping out a mate of mine, Ben, who I haven't seen for years, and then suddenly we're back in contact, and guess what? He's got a problem with his boiler. Now, Ben, funny enough, told me that cold is just a state of mind. He said that before his boiler broke down. Anyway, what we've got, the boiler's are an old boiler over here, potted and need to heat, good and reliable. You might think that this needs chucking on the skip, but actually these things, they go forever. So what we're finding is it goes on, it lights up, fires up, but then it goes off. What I worked out is that it's the pump. So the boiler's working, but the water's not circulating down into the cylinder and the radiators. So here's the central heating pump. And one thing I do do, because these can get jammed up, sometimes they're just full of rubbish basically so what i do is get a little hammer not a, not too nothing too vicious not a sledgehammer sometimes that's enough just to free it up and get it going but in this case i'm afraid it's not anyway whatever it is it's not working so we're going to replace it so it's a job that a lot of people will find that they can do themselves the first thing is this pump was red hot because although the motor had been running, it wasn't circulating, it just got hot. So I've got a nice cold, damp towel here and I'm just cooling it off for a bit. And then we've turned the power off here. This is the power to the programmer and everything else. So we turn that off just to make sure. And then on the pump itself, there are a couple of isolating valves and you turn these round with a pair of pliers or whatever. And once you've isolated it, sometimes you find those little valves start to weep slightly, which is annoying. Sometimes it means you've got to drain the whole system down. But fortunately with this one, they seem to have stopped. I've turned the water off. And now this is where you need a fairly big set of grips to undo the pump unions themselves and if you get that on there and you hold the pump steady and you'll find that you can loosen those off these aren't too bad actually which is great because sometimes they're jammed solid no we're lucky in fact they're barely done up we've got to do the wiring but sometimes if it's in a situation like this you can't get at the wiring so sometimes you're better off taking the pump off and then taking the wiring off and then wiring the new one up before you actually put it back on the thing now we're going to get a little bit of water coming out of here when I take this off and bear in mind that that water could be hot so that's time to just give yourself a cup of tea got an old cloth angus or something that we can just put around there just to catch any any old towels you can find anything helps right hopefully when we take this off we'll find that the if it wasn't isolated properly, you would find that you'd have water squirting out of here and you'd have to just turn the valve slightly. Yeah, so they slip up. This now comes out of position. You see what it is, couple of unions there, couple of rubber washers. Look at that rubber washer, that's completely decomposed. You can see the steam coming out of here now. There's another rubber washer on the bottom. Take that one off. Make sure that it's clean before we put the new ones back on so we can just rub off any residue that there is. As you can see, this is all be decomposing rather badly. So we just give that a little wipe with something like a bit of emery or whatever just to make sure it's clean yeah so here's the pump now in the side of the pump as I say make sure this is turned off in the side of the pump is the wiring which is just like a three pin plug undo it so just take that off and in here we've got terminals undo the terminals take the wiring out and that is just basically as you can see live neutral nerve now I neglected to say that on the side of this pump is an arrow so you check the direction of flow on the arrow and then you put the pump back in the same way but i happen to know that this is coming into the system that way into the motorized valve so that's absolutely fine so here we've got the new pump like for like grunfoss and what we've got in here is two new rubber washers now you can get fiber washers some people prefer fiber washers some people prefer the rubber washers personally i prefer the rubber washers because you don't have to squash them down in quite the same way so what we have here 
is old fashioned wiring terminals. So that goes back on the cable, which is here, which is the same one as that, but we take that one off, put the new one on. Well, not all jobs go smoothly. In fact, I'd say probably 50% of them don't go smoothly. And in this case, you can see that those unions, those isolating unions, you can see that it's just the gland. There's a little gland in there, and unfortunately, they sometimes weep. So this one at the bottom here, you can see they're both dripping away. In fact, that one, that one is leaking. And I'm not very happy about them at all. I obviously could go away and see how they go. Sometimes they seal up on their own, but because I don't want to come back, I'm going to drain the system now, replace these two unions, and that way, we can be sure that everything is all right. But that's just one of those things. You change pumps and probably 50% of the time, you'll find that those unions cause problems. So we're gonna go and drain it down now, which is a question of putting the hose pipe onto the drain point. Unfortunately, we've only got this one here, which is in the house. I actually like them when they're external. So we just give this a little turn and take a bit of water out the system. Okay. Oh, we turn that off, that's fine. Yeah. So we just leave that draining down while I go to the plumbers merchants and grab a couple of those unions. Don't undo this too much, by the way. If you've got water coming out like that, that's fine. If you have a little hiss of air coming out first and then the water, because the air is lighter than water, once you see water come out, you'll know there's no air trapped in those. Okay, so all's well that ends well, as Shakespeare said, and uh, even though it proved to be a little bit more complicated than I thought, it's actually done. This is the problem, of course, with giving people a price when you go and do a job. You can price for a new pump, but if the valves are shot and you've got to add the valves and everything else, you can put the price up by 50 quid. So that's plumbing for you. But anyway, we got there in the end, and I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to come back to Skill Builder soon because we've got lots more coming up in the near future and if you want to be a subscriber that'd be great but also that little bell which is up in the top right hand corner if you just click on that that will automatically notify you of all the new videos that we've got coming up so that way you'll be sure not to miss anything thanks very much for watching i'm roger bisbee come back soon